question number 156 excretion is carried out by protonephridia with solenocytes in brachiostoma doliolum acidia or herdmenia over here students brachiostoma is a urocordate also commonly called lancelets in brachiostoma excretion occurs with the help of protonephridia whereas in acidia doliolum And herd mania, excretion occurs through neural gland. So the correct answer becomes option number 1. Question number 157. Read the statements A and B and select the correct option. A. Many living members of class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some other fishes. This is a correct statement. Second statement. Cyclostomes have sucking circular mouth. This is also correct as Cyclostomes are named so because of circular mouth. Cyclostomes are jawless fishes and possess a sucking circular mouth. So both statements are correct. So the correct answer, now let us read the options. Statement A is correct but B is incorrect. This is wrong. Statement B is correct but statement A is incorrect. This is also incorrect. Both statements A and B are correct. This is the correct option. And both statements A and B are incorrect is also incorrect. So the correct answer becomes option number 3. Question number 158. Match column 1 and column 2 with respect to type of metamorphosis involved and select the correct option. Let us see. A metabolis means no metamorphosis. Which is exhibited by silverfish or lepisma. Porometaboli or porometabolis Involves metamorphosis with gradual development. Polymetaboli is shown by cockroach. Hemimetaboli is a phenomena with incomplete. Metamorphosis exhibited by mayfly. Holometaboli is complete metamorphosis. And is exhibited by butterfly mosquitoes etc. Hypermetaboli involves many larval stages each different from the other. This is exhibited by beetles. So let us match the options. A metabolis should match with silverfish that is A should match with so, we are seeing option number 1 and 3. 
Pollen metabolism should match with cockroach. That is, bee should match with four. Holometabolism is butterfly. That is, complete metamorphosis. And hypermetabolism is blister beetle. So the correct answer becomes option number three. Let us move on to the next question. Question number one hundred fifty-nine. Air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration. They are characteristics of cetacula, testudo, chelone, or macaca. Here, cetacula is parrot and belongs to class Aves. Testudo is tortoise and belongs to class Rep. Telia. Chilon is turtle, also belongs to class Reptilia, whereas Macaca is monkey and belongs to class Mammalia. Students, in birds, air sacs help more oxygen to be absorbed from air into the blood for extra energy that the bird needs. But air sacs are not the place or not the site of gaseous exchange. They just assist in respiration. So the correct answer here becomes cetacula that is parrot. The correct answer becomes option number 1. Question number 160. And Egg laying animal with a diaphragm to facilitate respiration is. Here students we know that the presence of diaphragm is a characteristic of mammals. So we have to identify an egg laying mammal. Delphinus is incorrect as it is viviparous. Delphinus is dolphin and is incorrect as it is viviparous. To neophron is also incorrect. Neophron is a bird and lacks diaphragm. Three ornithorhynchus is correct as ornithorhynchus is a monotreme. That is, it is an egg laying mammal. Struthio is also incorrect as Struthio is a bird which lacks diaphragm. So the correct answer becomes option number. 3 that is ornithorhynchus. Let us proceed to the next question. 